Hello, Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use checkboxes to go and add filters to repeating groups. And this can be really handy if you have a lot of uh, data in your database and you're showing them in a repeating group and you want to filter on a specific field within the, the data structure. So let me do a quick demo here. I've already preceded the, the database here. And basically what I've got here is I'm just clicking on the checkbox and I'm showing all of the items in my database that has a value of order status 1. You can see order status 1 here. If I deselect it, it goes away. And then I want to show all of order status 2. And there's order status 2 right there. And order status 3 as well and so forth. So by using these checkboxes, I can go and filter and show the records in the repeating group here. So let's go and jump into the design. And basically here I have um, the just a simple text field and then I have these three checkboxes here. And for the checkboxes, uh, nothing really fancy for these. These are the default values. And if I go down here, see where checkboxes are right there. So on input form checkbox, basically select that. And the default value is uh, unchecked. I, I didn't make any changes to this. No conditional changes or anything. Just change the, uh, the label of it. And that was basically it for the, um, for the checkboxes. And then uh, for the repeating group, um, actually, before I get to the repeating group, because you'll see that there's this type uh, of content orders, and I need to go over here to the, the data structure and show you what orders looks like. So I created a custom data type called orders, and within orders, I just have these two fields, uh, order name of uh, type text, and then order status of type text. So simply just create a new field, so I'll just say test, and then text. And it's as simple as that. So order name and order status. And within the repeating group here, so to pick a repeating group, it's under containers. So I'll just go back up to the top here. You scroll down, containers, repeating group, and just select that, drag it on over. And I'll go into this one here that I've got set up. And the type of content I've got is um, orders. So choose orders. And then what I want to do is for the data source, you need to tell Bubble what data you want. And I want uh, orders, the data for orders. I don't have any constraints on this. You might have constraints based on users. Um, not sure what uh, other type of constraints you might want to have in there. But um, certainly in your app, you may want to add constraints. And then what I have in here is filtered. So under search for orders, and then filtered. And basically you get, let's see, if, um, you'll get this more button and then when you see the more you get all these different different choices. So I picked filtered. And I've already got filtered on here. So again, when you see the little more pop up here, just click on that and you get all these other choices and you want to pick filtered. So I've got filtered set up here. And then order status, so that's the, uh, the data field that I just went through a moment ago, is in filtering RG, so filtering RG for repeating group, that's the name of this page, order status. Now this right here is a little bit of the magic, I suppose, that this here is a custom state that I've created. And let me just close this and show you. So if you click on the page, so right now, now I've, I've clicked on the page, so filtering repeating group RG right here for the page. And then you come over here, you click on the I for the inspector, and then you'll get this pop-up in custom states. And so I've created this custom state, order status, and it's of type text. You've got all these choices here, and this one's of type text. And I made it a list. And the reason why I made it a list is because I've got multiple uh, different filtering criteria here, different values for, uh, for the filtering. And so I need to make this as a list so that when I go back to the filtering in the repeating group, that it'll compare the, the, 
the value from the, the data record of order status with what's in the repeating group, or I'm sorry, what's in the custom state, the list in the custom state. So I need to set it up this way. And just to quickly walk through, so add a custom state, I'm just gonna call this one test, type text, and then this state is a list, like that. And that's how you create a custom state. Now going back over here, so for filtered, so I clicked on the repeating group, data source, filtered. So filtering repeating groups order status, okay? So what this is going to do is it's gonna compare what the order status is, the value of that order status in that repeating group cell and see if it's in this uh, custom state, which is gonna be a list of the different order status and that's gonna be based on what I click on the checkbox. Now, just to complete this through, we need to get to the workflow to see what's going to happen. And for each one of these checkboxes, I need to have two workflows. And there's going to be one step in each one of those workflows. And the reason why I need uh, two workflows per each one of these is because I need to, the app needs to go and have a workflow for when I check the checkbox and when I uncheck the checkbox. So over here, and I've color coded these grays for the first checkbox, I've got green for the second checkbox, and blue for the third checkbox. So on this one here, so when the first checkbox is checked, and I have this criteria here, this checkbox is checked, what I want to do is have a, a set state, okay, and again set state, come over here to element actions and you do set state and then you pick the element and the element is going to be filtering rg the repeating group and then the custom state is order status okay and then i have to put in a value and i'm just going to delete this because i've got it already set up over here all right so again set state filtering rg order status then the value is going to be the filtering repeating groups order status. So that's the name of this custom state. So I need to pick that because it's, think of it as a, as a container, it's a list. And I need to do plus item order status one. Okay. Now, actually, let me just go through this. I'm going to copy it and paste. So just in case you aren't familiar with this, if you are on a Mac, you can uh, use two fingers and click on your, your cursor pad or right click on a mouse uh, for PCs. When I do that, I get this pop-up, do a copy, and then similarly double, double click here and do the paste, okay? And then I will have this here and I'm just gonna go through to kind of walk this through order status you see this more again, so I get more options. Okay, let me just scroll up here. So you see it a little bit better. More. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom. Plus item. And then in the plus item, I'm gonna do order status one. And I'm just gonna kind of double click on that and copy it because this I manually typed in. So if you, if you get the, um, the, the spelling wrong or if you, the space here is incorrect and so forth, it's going to mess up your, your filtering. So just make sure when you're doing this that you type it in correctly. And then over here. Now, one thing, when I, when I typed in the text here, I actually did a control V to, to paste it. Control C to copy the text, Control V to paste it. So if I go and I do my right click on here, it's actually gonna give me a different set of, if I do this, it's gonna paste this other stuff in here. So just one thing to be aware of with, with Bubble, when you do the right click on your mouse or if you do the two fingers on the, the mouse pad, you're gonna get a different, you're gonna get different options than if you do the Control C and Control V so control C for copying text, control V for pasting the text. So just something to be aware of as you go through this. All right, that was a little bit long-winded. Uh, let, me, let me get on to when the checkbox isn't checked. So when the checkbox isn't checked, 
and I go to set state again, same repeating group, uh, again, page, repeating group, order status. And then what I want to do is I want to take that um, uh, custom state and I want to do a minus this time, order status one. So basically that's going to be removing it from the list. So in this step here, we're going to be adding order status one to the list for that custom state. And in this step here, we are going to be removing it. All right. And then similar, similarly for the second checkbox, okay, filtering uh, RG's order status plus item, order status number two. And then this one, minus item, order number two. So these are basically pretty much identical. It's just I'm, I'm changing the text field. If I come over to the third checkbox, probably not surprised at this point. So it's going to be order status number three and so forth. So that's how you go and you set this up so that when you click on these uh, checkboxes here, it's going to be adding a value or removing a value from that custom states list. Hopefully that's not too, too terribly confusing. Um, let me just do a quick refresh here, and then I want to just show you another kind of quick way. So, or status two, one, I can remove that. Uh, a quick way to go and um, add more criteria or more filtering to this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on order status three checkbox. I'm going to do that right click or the two fingers on the um, the cursor pad for your um, Macs. And I'm going to do a copy with workflows. And then I'm just going to select, click on the screen here, and I'm going to do the right click again, or two fingers on keyboard, and I'm going to do paste with workflows. And you'll see I've made a copy of it. And I'm going to change this to number at a fourth criteria here. And then what I'm going to do is come over to workflows, all right, so you see I've got status uh, checkbox orders, checkbox order status number four here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color. So let's go with orange for that one, and I'm going to do orange for that one. So as you can see, it's kind of nice uh, to go and change some of these colors um, so that you can kind of quickly distinguish the checkbox ones, twos, threes, fours, and so forth. So it's a nice, um, nice visual there. Now I need to go over here, and since I did a copy and paste from three, I'm going to make this four. And then over here, change this one to four as well. Okay. So now I'm going to come over here. So there's order status four. So three is there, and I click on four, but there's, there's nothing there. Reason being is because I don't have anything in the database. Now what I'm going to show you how to do is go into the database and manually create an entry here. So you come over here, so I clicked on app data, and then I clicked on orders, and then I do new entry, and then this will be, I think, order five is what we'll call the order name, and then order status I think that's what the, is that what I call these the values? Sometimes I, okay, so one, two, three, so four. Actually, I need to change this to four. Order status four for the fourth checkbox. Okay, so now when I come back over here, and you'll see it's there already. So status three and status four. So that's a quick way to add another criteria into the design, and you could keep going if you had more uh, status values. So again, back to the database structure, you could have a lot of orders or, or whatever uh, field that you may, custom data types that you may have in your, in your design, and we're just basically using one of these fields here, which could have a lot of different values and we basically just map them to one of these checkboxes. And for each of the checkboxes, you give that, that order status or that criteria, if you will, uh, unique value. And that's what we use with a uh, custom state. 
and we use that for filtering the repeating group here. And that is basically how you use checkboxes with, um, to filter a repeating group using custom states. Um, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment or a note below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you like this video, if it was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate those. And uh, I do have upcoming videos. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll get uh, notified by YouTube of those. Thank you.